Hello everyone, welcome back to another quick tutorial from Kanye's Arts. My name is Seanak Patwardhan and today I'll be showing you how to create a GIF from a video in Photoshop. Now this is a skill which can be handy in a lot of places. And you can create some groundbreaking stuff with this. Okay, so once you're in After Effects, go to File, Import, File. Wait a minute. This is not an After Effects tutorial. Okay, so once we're in Photoshop, let's import our video that we need to convert to a GIF. Go to File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. Now, this might take a little bit of time depending on the kind of file that you're importing and the configuration of your computer. Okay, so I have this intro file that this is actually an intro for another tutorial that I've created on brush strokes. I'll leave a link to that tutorial in the description of this video. <laughs> Alright, after that shameless plug, basically for just for the sake of this tutorial, I've created a small 540p so instead of importing the full 1080p file, we'll have a little bit, we'll have a bit of a lighter file to work on because GIFs are anyways very compressed, and uh, the smaller the file, the better it is for your GIF, especially if you want to upload it to your website or something. So yeah, let's import this file. Okay. So we get this dialog box before the file is imported. What this basically does is uh, you can select the whole range of the file, the whole duration of the video, or you can select a range. So you can you can change these, you can move these arrowheads to kind of uh, trim the file a little bit. So yeah, let's trim it a little bit so that we don't have to import the entire file and you can play this if you want so that is the kind of file that I'm importing right now and you can limit the file to every uh, specific number of frames so if you have a 30 FPS file and if you have two selected here it'll skip over every alternate frame if you have a 30 FPS file it gets converted to a 15 FPS file so let's do that right now and uh, click OK and here we have the file if you want you can play it from here that's the way it looks so let's get to the fun stuff go to file export and save for web ok first we need to convert this to a GIF GIF is already selected here, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. Now here you can either go for you can go for any of these options depending on the kind of file that you're looking for. Grayscale, of course, it changes the file to a grayscale and that does reduce the file size. But for now, I'm gonna click on selective. Selective is basically uh a better option in a lot of cases it's also a default option so yeah colors 256 now a GIF always has only 256 colors that is the maximum number of colors you can get in a GIF so let's do 128 and see what it looks like I think it looks okay there's not much of a loss here Especially because the the file doesn't have a lot of different colors here. It's just one color and in a grayscale. I don't think you'll, you'll be able to see this on the tutorial, but there is a little bit of grain appearing at 128 right now. Let's go back to 256. This is cool, but of course it depends on the kind of um, file size that you're looking for. 128 will of any of these the lower you go on these numbers that will obviously reduce the file size but since I'm not uploading this GIF anywhere right now so I'm gonna keep it to 256 diffusion always go for diffusion and dither 
So the dither percentage is the amount of dithering applied to the images. So what dithering means is that if you have a black pixel and a white pixel next to each other, they kind of merge to become grayer pixels. So the higher the amount of dithering percentage, the more the transition. It can especially help in places where you have a lot of gradients in the image or there are a lot of colors and they kind of they're kind of getting pixelated. A higher value creates the appearance of more colors and more details, but it also increases the file size. You'll have to decide on what percentage you'll need based on your file. For now, I'm going to change this to maybe 50%. Now, my file does not have a transparency, so I'm just going to switch it off. Switching off the transparency reduces the file size as well. You have your image size. This is 960 by 540, which is basically half of full HD resolution, 1920 by 1080. That's the file size I've created. That's the stuff I was talking about earlier. And the percentage of the file size, this, you can change this to anything you want. I'm just going to change this to 50% so the file gets halved even over here that's just to reduce the file size again and the quality uh, I'm just gonna leave it to bicubic for now and looping options the file should loop forever or once depending on what you're aiming for leaving this to forever for now and hit save to save your file and you can rename it stroke 01 and save the file So if you go back and see the file, there is the file. It's only 4 MB now, which is still quite a lot for a lot of places. But uh, hey, depending on your image, you can always make the modifications to this. And that's the end of the tutorial. Please don't forget to like the video and share it with people. Also, if you have any doubts, you can post them in the comment section below the video. So thank you. And until the next time, Seanek over and out.